Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today let's look at how you can model a building in Blender 2.8. So just drag an image or find a texture like this and uh, drop it into Blender. Uh, we're going to use it as a reference image and also as a texture uh, for our building. Shift A to add a plane, uh, scale it up. I'm going to split this area so that I can have the shader on this side. So go to edit mode and hit you to access the UV mapping context menu and uh, then UV unwrap this. Create a new material and add uh, this image as our texture. So I'll just select this plane shift a texture image texture and because we already have it loaded into our scene we can just navigate to it directly here if you don't have it in your scene you just have to click open and to access it from where you have it in your folders uh, so let's add it here uh, we can connect this directly to the base color and uh, change our view to, to dev mode uh, so that we can preview our mode you can see that uh, it's a bit stretched right now so i can go in and scale this a bit so that i can get the right size uh, let me rotate this 90 degrees uh, so that it's facing me directly now it's just a matter of capturing some of the details uh, we have in the image and that we're going to do with just going into edit mode adding a few loops uh, here and there just to capture those details so i'm just going to use ctrl r to add a loop around there i uh, want to extrude uh, those windows out uh, because right now if you look at uh, the image from a different angle it's just a plain image go to face mode select these uh, windows hit e to extrude them and you can see we are getting some bit of detail if we add in ambient occlusion you can see how the, uh, the occlusion starts to uh, shape uh, the, the the walls a bit better now with all the windows selected we can hit i to insert and uh, we just want to capture the detail of the inner frame so I to insert E to extrude in so that we push in, push back uh, those windows back inside it. You can go in and add even more details by extruding this other frame we see. So I to insert and then I and then E to push uh, that inside. Now that we are done with that, what we have to do is uh, just duplicate this around the four sides uh, so that we have a complete building. For that, I'm going to use the mirror modifier. So if you go to the modifiers while selecting the object, you can add a mirror modifier. And to have better control over this, I'm just going to add an empty, be our mirror object control. Uh, so I'll add an empty there, just move it somewhere like there, and then select it, select the object, go to the modifiers and select it as the mirror object. Now, if I rotate this, you can see that uh, I'm rotating uh, the mirror object as well. So if I rotate this 90 degrees, it's mirrored on the opposite side, but if I rotate it 45 degrees, it's also mirrored on the other side. Uh, we are getting some intersecting here, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is push, uh, just go to wireframe and push this mirror just so that, move the mirror object just so we can align these better. I uh, just need the other side. Uh, for that, we just need to apply Y axis. So again, we still have some intersecting issues here. So let me just move this. Make sure that you move this along uh, a diagonal angle like this, uh, so that you can align this side. Otherwise, if you move it on the on the different angles, on the X axis or Y axis directly, they will just move everything. And uh, now, this is what we have. Uh, what we are left with is uh, we can now apply the mirror modifier and uh, create uh, the, the roof. So I'll just hit F uh, while selecting that loop, set using I, and then extrude down, and uh, we have our roof. You can apply a different texture for this side, or what you can do is just again you unwrap this, hit UV unwrap, scale it down so that uh, it's not capturing any other detail to have our roof. Uh, if you want to make a taller building easily, what you can do is uh, just separate uh, these two things uh, uh, so this is going to be our flows this would be our flows and just just separate this top uh, this bottom area to this from this top area so I'll just hit P uh, to say, and now you can see we have to separate objects let me also reset uh, the origins of this so that is easier for me to align and now now what we can do since we have the roof and now uh, we have this uh, segment here we can add an array to this and uh, we can just increase this the number of flows and uh, now to add our, the roof on top of this we can just select the end cap as this object if you're seeing this gap just go to the edit mode of uh, your roof and uh, push and start moving these vertices around until you see that uh, everything is merging correctly so you can have multiple buildings like this with different flows uh, so i can duplicate this again 
and just play around with uh, the height. So that's how you make a building. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.